All right, how are you guys doing today? This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you. And today we're going to take a look at reflecting an image over the line X equals A. Now one of the things you're going to have to remember about a line in this form, X equals A, and A is just any generic number, is that the line is going to be a vertical line around whatever number they give you for A. So there's a couple things I want you to pay attention to here in this lovely little picture of me over here on the left-hand side of your screen. First, I want you to pay attention to the letter R, which is on my right hand. The second thing that I want you to pay attention to is the doorknob, which is located in the lower left-hand corner of the picture. Now, if you're going to rep reflect an image over the line X equals A, so I'm just going to draw an imaginary line, and, and we're going to take this image that we have, and we're going to reflect it over that line so that it's a mirror image of it. Check out what happens. Hocus Pocus, Alakazam, Look what happens to the R in my hand. Wow, check that out. You just had your mind blown, didn't you? The R has flipped and doesn't really look like an R anymore. But the other thing too, look at the knob that was in the lower left-hand corner of the image on the left. And now it's over in the right-hand corner. Now the size of the image didn't change at all. We didn't dilate it as it's sometimes called or, or make it a different size. We just flipped it over this line which I drew here in the middle. So that's all you really have to think about when you reflect an image over a particular line x equals some number. Not very difficult, but we're gonna have to pay attention to not just how things get flipped but also maybe the coordinates, how they change. So let's take a look at two examples to practice those two ideas. So here we're gonna graph the image over the given reflection. In example one, we have line x equals one. So what I want you to do is find where the line x equals one is from the origin, and I want you to go ahead, get out a marker, and simply just draw a vertical line at the line x equals one. Now here comes the really challenging piece, because this image, there's parts of our image on both the left and right hand side of that so what we're going to have to be able to do is count very carefully first we're going to start with the letter r now notice r is one unit to the left of the line x equals one so that means our prime is going to be over on the right hand side by one unit so we'll label that r prime Next, I want to move up to the letter P. P is on the right-hand side, so its mirror image is going to be over on the left-hand side of the line x equals 1 by 1 unit. So P prime is going to be right here. Now, moving over to point L. The reflection of L is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 units away from my line. That means I've got to be four units to the left of the line x equals one. So one, two, three, four. So L prime is going to be located right there at the coordinates that you see on your screen. Now S, S is actually right on the line. So any time that you have a point that's on a line of reflection, it doesn't change at all. So S prime is going to stay right there. Now the challenging piece is going to be to go ahead and connect them. And there you go. So that would be the image of the quadrilateral PRSL reflected about the line X equals 1. Now to give the coordinates of each of the vertices, you can go ahead and write those down here. And we'll just start that with R. So R prime will have the coordinates 2, 1. P prime will have the coordinates 0, 5. L prime will have the coordinates negative 3, 1. And S prime will have the coordinates 1, negative 3. So that's all you have to do if you're given an image and you have to graph its reflection about a line x equals in a particular value. Let's go ahead and try example number two together. If you think you got it, you can hit pause right now and then come back in a few moments to see how you did. First, we'll go ahead and graph the line. 
x equals 3. And then when I count, this time point i is 1, 2 away on the left hand side. So I'm going to need to go 1, 2 on the right hand side of my line x equals 3. So that's going to be where i prime is. Point C is 1, 2 away. So again, that's going to be 2 on the right hand side. So that's where C prime is going to be. Now point V is 2 away also, but this is 2 away on the right hand side of the line x equals 3. So that means we're going to reflect that 2 over on the left hand side. And that's where V prime is going to be. And X, point X, well that's just right on the line, so that's not going to change at all. And that's where X prime will be. So again, go ahead and connect the dots with your best straight line possible. And then go ahead and list the coordinates. And we'll start this time with point V prime. And we'll go around again in a clockwise fashion. So V prime will have the coordinates 1, 1. I prime will have the coordinates 5, negative 1. C prime will have the coordinates 5, negative 2, and X prime will have the coordinates 3, negative 4. So that's all you have to do to graph an image given its reflection or to give the coordinates of each of the vertices of the reflected images. Now let me give you two more to go ahead and practice on your own. So if you think you got it down, that's great. Go ahead and hit pause, then come back in a couple minutes and what I want you to check are two things. One, is the image correct? And two, did you give the coordinates of the vertices of the reflected image correctly. So go ahead and hit pause and then come on back in a moment and check and see how you did. So how did you do? Hopefully you came up with the correct images as well as the correct coordinates for examples 3 and 4. So that's it for watching this example 1, 2, 3, and 4 on reflecting images over the line x equals a over a vertical line. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day, and I will catch up with you again soon. Peace out.